Hello everybody and welcome to Mama Stuff for Car Guys. Now today we are gonna work on our E46 BMW uh, to Coupe. And as you've seen in the last episode, we have now tackled the exterior. And now it's time for the interior, because it's just as bad. Here we are. This is actually quite a nice spec inside. It's got the Alcantara sport seats and everything. However, they are looking very, very tatty and tired. And I see we need some more illumination in here, so I'm gonna get that. Much better, I think. Now, as you can see, there's some hideous discoloration on the steering wheel right there. And that is actually dirt. Actually, I can show you. This is the glove I used to... Wait, too much light. This is the glove I used to drive this thing. And these were white when I started. That's how dirty they were. And once the interior was warming up, they were sticking to the steering wheel. That's how badly it's soiled. It's like full of stickiness and crap and other things I don't want to really know about. <laughs> and the seats, they are first of all fluffy as you can see right there. And secondly, they are just too dirty and the floor is dirty and the dashboard is dirty. The Gear knob is missing as you can see because it was already, I think it's still here. There we go. This was the gear knob. And of course that's going to be thrown away. And then I've also installed already that Alcantara gear knob boot, which I think looks much nicer going with the Alcantara interior. It is an original BMW piece uh, and performance I think, or when it just used to be M power and um, or M Technic even anyway and it matches with the color of the seats very well so that's good and then we've got that and then everything is yeah radio has already been ordered that's not an original one it's just the test one that I put in to see if the power still works because there was no radio and that's an E36 model which is slightly too large for this cabin We'll go through it. The first, very first step is to vacuum every single thing. So I'm going to vacuum the floor, the seats, the center console. Then we're going to use the, the brush attachment and vacuum the entire dashboard. So this is the reason why we're going to vacuum. As you can see, this is the seat. And there's hairs and there's dust and there's grump. And on everything, there's going to be a layer of dust anyway. And we're going to attack this because we don't want uh, later on we're going to use a product and a wet cleaning method to clean these seats and the interior. We don't want that to mix up with all the dust and make a dust mush out of it. A dust soup that's then going to cover everything and make it even worse. So first of all we're going to vacuum. I'm going to use this attachment, get in here, suck it all up and then go over the seats, the surfaces and everything. So as you can see there's already a 50-50 uh, comparison just from vacuum cleaning. I mean this is amazing. Just here you can see the line. So much dust was removed from this that it's really almost a night and day difference as you can see. And already it looks like a much nicer place to be. The seat looks tons better. Carpets are some stains left. We'll take care of those later but all the dust and hairs are gone. And now I'm quickly run to the supermarket, gonna run to the supermarket to get some supplies. <laughs> Here's what we need, some disposable razors. There we go. We're gonna take this razor. Do you see how fluffy that is over there? We're gonna take this razor and we're gonna shave off the fluffiness. Yes, we are. Kind of an old school method where people used to shave the fluffiness of their wool sweaters and such but works incredibly well and as you can see we've already created this little patch in here in there <laughs> that looks a lot better i'm sorry that was out of view but i'll continue to see for you to see the result as you can see i'm just shaving into the fluffiness and shaving that all away and it's working very well. It's 
so I'm gonna do that whole area and then I'll show you after and how much nicer does that look I mean there's still some loose fluff on it especially here which all has to be vacuumed again uh, the reason I didn't vacuum before is that I didn't want the razors to get uh, stuck on all the dirt that was there uh, but here is an, a comparison how it was very bad and here's how we're looking now much better so yeah only a whole interior left nice times so we are done with the shaving and as you can see it all looks a lot nicer now uh, the next step though is to remove the greasiness and the dirt that's still embedded in there and for that we're gonna use a brush now this is a horse hairs brush which is really not stiff at all so you can use this on alcantaras and leathers without damaging them I'm gonna use the good old magic sponge for the steering wheel over there and then we're gonna use a soft sponge like this just a yellow sponge um, for the areas that are not that soiled and don't need a brush maybe some of the cloth part and stuff like that and then we're gonna use a spray of interior cleaner that is usable on tissues and on uh, such as on the cloth like that and Alcantara and then you want to use if that's not for both you want to use a specific leather cleaner luckily this one is suitable for both and you just want to cover your entire work area with it okay a seat like this I'm not even gonna be saving it I'm just gonna cover it all because it's extremely dirty now this is the DIY method you can of you of course use extraction machines or steamers but this is the good old DIY method brushing it and then mopping it up with a microfiber cloth so that's what we're gonna do for the entire seat and interior here this is what came up of just the knee pad of the seat okay just that piece in the front this is what came up so nice and filthy make sure you have plenty microfiber towels to do this kind of work because a lot of dirt will come up okay so now look at that brother <laughs> Look at the improvement we were able to make to this seat. It's much better looking now. Uh, gone is the dirtiness and the brown stained look that was all over the seat. So we're gonna let that dry up. It should be marvelous. Now onto that steering wheel. That very discolored and ugly steering wheel as you can see. I'm gonna do one half of it. Then I'm gonna come back and explain how I did it. But you guys, I just had to show you this. I did a an eighth of the steering wheel and look how discolored my magic sponge has become already. Ugh, disgusting. So far, unfortunately, it seems like we do have to do with quite a worn steering wheel. As you can see on the left side, that's the side that has been cleaned. The right side looking far more disgusting still. It's the side that I haven't touched. Now, luckily there is some improvement however it is a very worn steering wheel um my thinking is even that the, all the black stuff that was in the magic sponge is some kind of shoe polish or shoe cream that's on the leather to hide the fact that it was worn but it has actually just made it so much worse okay we're gonna keep going and do the whole steering wheel so here's how you clean it right you can distribute your cleaner now this steering wheel is so dirty with just some warm water and the magic sponge will not work you need an actual cleaning product and then your magic sponge which at this point completely soiled already and you just want to rub it easily you don't want to damage anything just go over it lightly and then you mop that up and that gives you a very very nice result overall brings back the mac the madness 
um, without destroying the lacquer that's on the leather. This gives it that nice uh, factory finish, so to say. There we are, let that dry up and we'll look at the results. Okay, so I'm going to use this stiff bristled brush for the carpet. I already sprayed the product all over the place. And then we're just going to work it from side to side. And from bottom to top. And then we're going to mop that up with a microfiber once we're done. Wow, have you ever seen a carpet so beautiful? Neither have I. <laughs> yeah, cleaned up pretty good in there. Very good. Steering wheel is now also completely dry in the meantime. And in the end, it doesn't look that bad. So this one can stay. And yeah, we've got door panels to do. We've got dashboard to do. And all the rest on the other side. And then I need to take out the center console to uh, fix BMW's uh, soft paint. I don't know if you can see it there. Let's As you can see there, this soft paint that lets go everywhere we need to do the entire console again in, uh, in either a soft paint or a matte black. See, it's damaged literally everywhere. So, I have to say things are moving along rather nicely. Uh, now we have the dashboard to do. And I'm using my sponge with some um, of the product. I'm just going around. And then I'm using a combination of brushes to do these air vents. Now I have one for a dry pass just to get the dust out that was still in there after vacuuming. Then I have a wet one for making a wet pass as well. Just like that. Beautiful. And then we're gonna use our microfiber cloth and go in there and really dry that up so. now it looks glossy just because it's wet still but this one it doesn't have any gloss uh, qualities to it once it's dry it's just a cleaner it doesn't have any glossiness or it doesn't have any extra matte which is also sometimes a bit over the top it's just a nice cleaner that cleans very well and leaves a factory finish yes indeedy look at this center console and how scratched up that soft paint is looks terrible we continue down we're also missing some buttons here for the windows some switches window switches and i started to pull out these things here from the center console so that we can remove them and it's really quite simple all you do i'll demonstrate here i'll demonstrate here is you pull on the side of the individual items that you want to pull out and that releases those clips and then you can take off whatever you want to take off same with the handbrake Handbrake is always a little stiffer. There we go. And then that's all loose. There we go. Now we're gonna wiggle around that part to take that off. And in there are some screws in the ashtray, or b below the ashtray, there are some screws that hold this whole majiggity in. So we're gonna take those out and we're gonna lift out the whole center console. And that should be that. Ta-da! Actually, these uh, these two doors that there are on the center console in the center console, they had the most um, uh, of this soft touch paint on it, and they were the hardest to remove. Even though there were so many scratches, it took a very long time for that to come off. Uh, then I sanded them very lightly with another scotch pad, a dry one, and cleaned them with a panel wipe. So now we're ready to go. 
What we're going to use is a matte black spray paint and we're going to use it from a spray can. I usually find that the spray can matte blacks have a much nicer matte finish than, uh, than you would achieve with the base coat from a compressor. Okay, <clears throat> so I've got all the parts here dry and ready to be installed in the car and as you can see wonderful results. I mean they come, came out really well. Everything is a nice flat black again. There's no more damages, no more nastiness. Now doesn't that look tons better? Like I said I still need the gear knob. And those window switches are all gone as well because I ordered new ones as well. We're just waiting on those. Unfortunately, delivery here in December, getting close to Christmas, is a bit slow. And then we are going to apply some plastic restoration on some parts, which I'll show you now. Do you see how that's uh, the handle there for the, uh, for the seat is completely ugly? <laughs> Now there is a solution for this and it's not a plastic dressing like you can find in automotive store. But you go to the hardware store, to the PVC section most likely, and you get a plastic restoration. And what this is, is uh, it's not a dressing but it actually goes into the material and really restores this. Um, it's usually some kind of uh, line oil based material or at least that's what it smells like. And so we're going to apply this now. I also apply it just with some shop towel because if you do this with uh, normal microfiber you can throw them away. You know, it looks very shiny to begin with. You want to dry that off. And then that's going to work its way in and bam! You've got a black handle. So here we are in the E46 M Sport Coupe. It's all finished, it's all cleaned up and it's all dried up and it's looking lovely. big announcement to make which is that uh, all the products and all the tools used in this video to clean up and to tidy up in here are now available on our website so check it out using this link and I think it's an incredible line of products it's uh, by a company called Oakshed it's a man and his sons in Belgium that are designing that all on their own and making all the formulas all on their own and the nice thing is it's completely allergen free it's the first line of Cars Cosmetics to be completely allergen free and it's by the grape. So I think it's a great line of products, it suits our brand very well. So check that out! Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye!